Hey golfers, in this next video I'll be talking about keep left shoulder down in downswing. Keep watching. Hi, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So we're talking about keeping the left shoulder down in downswing. This is a real pro move. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm set up to a ball here from down the line. Now, as we go to the top of the backswing here, you'll notice my lead shoulder will be lower. Now, at the start of the downswing, and this is what all really great players do, they get a little bit lower, but that very first move in transition, that lead or left shoulder will get lower, and then it will level out before we get into impact. Now, the reason this is such a powerful move is it helps the player use their legs getting ground for using the ground for power, you've probably heard that expression before. Helps you really sit into the ground and really move into the golf ball a lot more solid and get more power. So the opposite to keeping that left shoulder lower in the downswing is obviously getting the left shoulder higher and that's not what I want you to do. So to show you what it looks like, where a lot of golfers go wrong, and I've been guilty of this myself previously. In the downswing, if we go to the top here, if the first move you make in the downswing is this, as you can see what happens there, it tilts my upper body back. I get a lot of what's called secondary access tilt. I get further away from the ball, and especially with your irons, it makes it really difficult to get your hands forward and get that forward shaft lean. So as soon as you tilt it this way, get you in an awkward position and what it also does I'll show you from this angle as we make a backswing you can see there that left shoulder is lower I've got that nice tilt in my backswing if I was to do this again you can see my posture gets more upright I get further from the golf ball so my body is now saying how do I hit this ball and the only thing I can do in this position is stretch out my arms and really try to flick or scoop at the golf ball because I'm further away from it. It's the only thing I can do. So really important as you start that downswing, we keep that left shoulder low. Now, it will only be for a split second, but it's a key move that just for that split second, it's lower and it can really smooth out that downswing move for you. Now as we start that downswing we've got that left shoulder lower, the feels I want you to have, as I get over the top of one here, I want you to feel as though your belt buckle and your chest and your shirt buttons here are lower to the ground, pointing down towards the golf ball. That's the feel. So if I go to the top here, so as I start down with that left shoulder just starting lower, I feel as though my belt buckle is closer to the ball, my chest those shirt buttons are closer to the ball. They'll only be, like I say, for a very split second as we start that downswing. I don't want you to get in that position where as you start down, it's a, a lift up like that. This sort of lifting up position is really destructive. It doesn't matter if you're hitting irons or woods, any sort of lifting up coming out of that posture is really destructive. So from this angle, As we go to the top, I want to feel lower. It's really pushing into the ground. Great way to start that downswing. Have a look at Rory McIlroy's swing in slow motion, especially with his irons. He's a great example of someone that really gets that lead shoulder lower right at the start of the downswing. Now, as I said, that left shoulder will only stay low for a split second. The reason is, if you can imagine, if I get that left shoulder low and I keep it there for too long, I'm going to get in this really awkward, unbalanced sort of position here. And that's not what we want. We want that initial movement for the left shoulder to be low. And then what's going to happen, this is the next piece, and this is covered in more detail in another video, is right side bend, but I'll quickly show you here. So as we come down, left shoulder down, and then we want that right side bend. Now basically all that is, is your right shoulder or your rear shoulder getting closer to your right hip. And that creates this, as we go down, creates this crunching 
sort of squeezing in your rib cage as you come through to impact. So combining that left shoulder low with that right side bend, let's have a look at it from here, helps you make that complete downswing move. So as we go to the top, left shoulder low, right side bend, that centers out your chest, levels things out, through to impact. The right side bend is a key piece that follows up straight after you get that left shoulder low, helps you get into a great downswing position. Now if you've tried this move before, and I'm sure you have, and it hasn't worked for you, maybe you've hit the ball fat or thin, I can tell you exactly why. So, what's happening is because you're, and I'm assuming you've been doing the exact opposite to this, and getting that left shoulder high, when you're getting that left shoulder high in the start of the downswing, the natural reaction is to straighten out those arms. So as soon as you start doing this move, you get lead shoulder, that left shoulder low. If you try to straighten out those arms from there, because you're lower to the ground, you're just gonna chunk, hit well behind the ball, hit it really fat. So if you've tried this before and you've hit the ball fat, it's perfectly normal. This is all part of the training process to get used to a new movement pattern. So what you need to work on doing, you need to work on getting that left shoulder low, getting more bend in your right arm and more extension in that right wrist like this, particularly with your irons, not as much with your woods because the ball will be up on the tee, but with your irons, you need to get more bend in that right arm and more extension bending back of that right wrist because you're closer to the ball and that'll enable you to compress the ball a lot easier. Let's have a look at it from here. So that's the missing piece. If you're hitting it fat, I can almost guarantee you lead shoulder gets lower. You need to make sure you get that bend in that rear arm. That wrist is back like that. Through to the impact position there. And that'll help you really compress those irons, hit your woods well as also and that will help you out with your golf game. Now, super important, I've got another video coming up that talks about weight shift versus hip turn. This is an important video, it ties right in with this one to help you hit the golf ball a lot more consistent. I'll see you on it. Do you wanna know how to make an even better golf swing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's gonna go into more detail about golf weight shift versus hip turn, which ties in really well with this video to help you make a great golf swing. If you want to know how to play even better golf, consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.